what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel a look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find all solutions of a for which a to the fourth is equal to a minus one to the fourth well our first step will be for us to move what we have here on the right to the left hand side so we have a to the fourth minus it is minus because when i move this to the left it becomes negative a minus one to the fourth equal to now nothing is left on the right so i'm going to be imputing zero on the right our next step will be for us to express this in the power of two that means a to the fourth can be written as a squared to the power of 2 you see that because from indices when these two multiply 2 times 2 i'm going to be having 4 so it's still the same thing minus now i'll do the same to this expressing it in the power of 2 so we have a minus 1 squared and now i'm going to be raising this to power 2 that's it so 2 times 2 will also give me 4 equal to 0 now notice that this is a difference of 2 square and you know difference of 2 square is when I have x squared minus y squared it can be expressed as x minus y times x plus y so it goes on to say that x is the same as this a squared here and y is the same as this a minus 1 squared here so let me just write it down so that we see what we are doing so x if we compare this expression to this expression you see that x is what we have inside of the bracket which is a squared and y is what we have inside of this bracket that means you see this bracket here so y is what we have here which is a minus one square so now let's write this difference of two square like this so this is x minus y so x what is x x is a squared minus y what is y y is this expression here which is a minus one squared so this is the first bracket times this other bracket x plus y x is a squared plus y y is this expression which is a minus one squared good equal to zero now let's open up this bracket inside so we have a squared minus so by open up, opening up this bracket we have a squared minus 2a plus 1 so this is the result of opening up the bracket let's do the same thing to what we have here so we have a squared plus now opening up the bracket we have a squared minus 2a plus 1 that's it equal to zero now our next step will be for us to you know use this negative to open up this bracket inside so we have a squared now using the negative to open up the bracket minus a squared now minus times minus gives plus 2a and minus times plus is also minus 1 that's it now let's also open up this bracket we have a squared plus a squared minus 2a then plus 1 equal to 0 now a squared minus a squared is gone I have 2a minus 1 here times now a squared plus a squared is 2a squared then minus 2a plus 1 minus 2a plus 1 equal to 
0. So we have two cases. So the first case, let me say this is case 1, is where we have 2a minus 1 to be equal to 0. And then the second case, let me call this case 2, is where I have 2a squared minus 2a plus 1 to be equal to 0. Now, let's solve these cases one after the other. Now, let's start with our first case. So, for our first case, we are going to be moving this negative 1 to the right-hand side. So, we have 2a equal to, as negative 1 crosses to the right, it becomes plus 1. Now, we divide both sides by 2 in order to get the value for a. Now, 2 can divide 2, remaining a. A will be equal to 1 all over 2. So that is for case 1. So this is one solution for A. Now for second case, you notice that we have a quadratic equation. We're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. So using the quadratic formula, we are using we are looking for the value of A. So A equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is the a I'm looking for. Why this a here that you see here is a coefficient of the variable we are looking for. So let's go ahead and substitute. So a will be equal to negative b. What is b? b is negative 2. You see that? b is negative 2. So let's put it there. Negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. Remember, b is negative 2. That's negative 2 squared minus 4 times a. a is the coefficient of this variable here, which is 2, times c. c is 1, which is a constant term. That's it. All over 2 times a. That means 2 times a. What is a? a is 2. So a now will be equal to negative times negative 2. I'm going to be having positive 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared is 4. Minus 4 times 2 times 1 is 8 all over 2 times 2 is 4. Now simplifying further, we're going to be having a to be equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of now 4 minus 8 is negative 4 all over 4 so a will be equal to 2 plus or minus now you see that we have a negative inside of a radical which means that this is a complex number so now the square root of 4 usually is 2 but since it has negative, it means this is multiplied by negative 1, which result will always give you i. So the square root of negative 4 is 2i all over 4. So we can go ahead and separate this. So a will be equal to 2. Let's go with the positive first, plus 2i all over 4. Now notice that 2 is common in the numerator, so we can factor that out. So a will be equal to 2, factor 2 out. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, plus 2i divided by 2 is i, all over 4. Now 2 here, 1, 2 here is what? 2. So the value of a will be equal to 1 plus i, all over 2. So this is another value for a. Now, in order for us not to waste too much of our time in looking for the last value of a, the last value of a will be the same as this. The only difference is the sign. So the last value of a will be equal to 1, but this time negative, which is minus i, all over 2. So we have three solutions for a. You might be wondering, why are we having three solutions instead of four? Well, the reason why we have three solutions for A is that 
Remember that this is a to the fourth, and this is a minus one to the fourth. When we expand the right hand side, maybe using the binomial expansion, a to the fourth and a to the fourth, we cancel off. So the highest degree that will remain will be three. And that is the reason why we have three solutions for A. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.